know you got to keep in mind that the discussion you were having with that other teacher, I think, or what that was from the Board of Education. It's not for everyone. But there are people that it's for. And I think the people that it's Very not important. for will realize that immediately. Very important. Yeah. It is that you got to keep that. I just remember the, the reputation that we had going oh. to Maslow. Oh. It was terrible. I just got in we fights were, over it. We were all a bunch of hippie hangout. We well, didn't go there the to learn. Yeah. nicknamed us Maslonians. Have a flower, yes. Maslow yeah. power. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of ridicule with anything that's different. That's something you got to accept. And well, I, I accept it. I dealt with it in a violent yeah. way sometimes. I, dealt with it. I think people would be surprised I, oh, I as said. to where everyone went in their life. Yeah, and yeah. I'd like to just really talk to a few of them. I really think they, you know. Yeah, in fact, I can remember feeling that way each time we went to a school board meeting, saying, you know, let us speak and let us show you our intelligence and let us show you our commitment and our passion toward this goal. And then bring up somebody from the regular high school and let, let's compare, yeah. okay? I'd like to know, know statistics on that. What kind of commitment they ones. have toward their community and toward their school and toward their education, you know? And it just, it would have never washed. <laughs> no well, way, yeah. no way. Yeah. Well, I think of it now, if Maslow was to hear now, I wonder, how the would it, population would be, it would how, work. how it would it work. Everything changes year to year. We can look back on it and say that was fabulous in 1979. It was fabulous. 1994, I don't know if that would work. But you know, but there's always, there's always the, the 1994 the student kids, now. I don't know if you gave. Different. They have no respect for. I anything. know. So I if you throw that, that freedom I mean, in, that I don't was know. Weak. I remember. I used to hang out in the park and I said, you know, some of us, of course. Hot in the back of the parking lot, but if an adult passed, it always, you know, you have that respect right, for now. Respect. Now, I'm afraid to walk. My husband was telling me, you're going to be walking out with somebody, you know, going to the Brentwood School District, you know. I locked my car twice. Yeah. Checked it. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. I said, I hope nobody messed they, 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 they just have no respect for anything. And my brother, I look at him, he, we have a, a younger brother who, 10 years younger than me, when he was my age going through high school, I had to leave my house. He, he had no respect for my mother or for any adult. He's changed now. He's such a different person. I'm so shocked. I hope that these kids outgrow it, you know, because I look, you look at them and it's unbelievable. I think a lot of them are going to unfortunately get the opportunity to outgrow because of what's happening as far as uh, political. You know, there's a draft. There is a war going on. People I, don't realize there's a war going yeah. on. And a lot of them might see combat that, or military and that'll straighten them. Unfortunately, it's a scary but there's a war going on. Everyone, you know, if you don't read the paper, or you, you got to go beyond the paper. We're at yeah, war. war with we're our own United communities. The United States is at war. We're at war. We're losing soldiers each day, and there's people dodging bullets. You know, the United States soldiers. But it's, it's just war. scary looking at the generation, and I, I look at it. Yeah, but we will look at that way too, though. No, but we still have the respect. We for did our have respect, elders. but now it, everything's a little way to wear their hair. Look at the way we were sitting here tonight and the car went by with the windows vibrating because of the stereo. I know. I mean, well, I remember. These are, I we remember going to concerts and I couldn't yeah, hear from the well, next maybe, they, they, maybe theirs is louder because they have the technology to make it that loud. Yeah, <laughs> I, there's always the stereo. There's always if, always if we could make us that loud, we would. But now, there's always those right. few that don't follow that path. And, <clears> and, you know, like myself, you know, I wasn't in a lot of those pictures. I wasn't in... Any of the trips except that one. I was very much a quiet observer yeah, at Maslow, too. and yet I took in so much. You know, there's got to be in this classroom full of loud and obnoxious juveniles. There's got to be five or six in the middle who are just kind of, you know, hiding and getting by. Isn't there some way of pulling them guys out of there and, and rescuing them? Yes, that's that's a good word. And the other the other group of people that Marianne Ray would mention. Briefly, we didn't talk about it because I didn't want to leave too much in there. Is the teachers? Uh, talk oh, to teachers God. today. So many of my colleagues are so burnt out and so tired and so drained. They don't yes. have anything else to give. There's just if uh, some of the contemporaries of you guys that started teaching have already left the profession. They just quit. Yeah. Packed it, packed okay. it in. I have I have my masters in special education. Wow, great. I've been. Back and forth to school for years, you know. I took the long train to get my master's, but I got it. And I've been in and out of private special ed settings, um, 
since 79, since 78, because <laughs> I was at Central Islip Psychiatric Center when I was going to MT. Um, so I've been in institutional settings, I've been in private settings, um, you know, I've done my student teaching in, in various places, in, in elementary schools and in BOCES, and so I've seen the gamut of education uh, offerings, at least for special education and, <laughs> excuse me, but most of the regular education could use some special education. And in fact, I think a lot of the, um, a lot of the things that I was taught as a special educator should be taught to a regular educator because the um, emphasis of special education is to individualize the education that the person is receiving. And that's what Maslow Tafla was about. I mean, you know, like that's been going on forever in special education and why isn't that happening with regular education? I don't understand. All these new supposed things that I'm being taught in, in, um, in um, conferences and workshops and whatnot about uh, integrating individuals into the community and getting them out of segregated settings. Why isn't that happening in regular education? Why are we confined to a classroom with walls? You know, why are we confined to these classes? <laughs> that's, that's what society is. You know, but we, but we said that how many years ago? And and now all of a sudden it's this new thing. And again, I'm only doing it because I'm in special education. Why is that not happening in regular ed? I think, it was I think there's a lot of fear in the teachers now, too. Uh, just, can just, you imagine? I, I can't imagine. Like, I, I wanted saw Gary, to be a teacher when yeah. I got out of school. Right. I never wound up. I saw I Gary Mitz at a clam bar, and I believe it was East Isle for a Asian. And he was sitting, sitting with Steve Allen, as a matter of fact, and one other guy, I guess, the other principal. I told him who I was, and he remembered me. But I, I, when I heard he was the principal here, it blew me away. And even they were joking about, yeah, he had that, well, you know, the nerve to take that tuition. But I said, boy, you must take your life. Yeah. You know? it's, and it's, it's terrible. Yeah. But like you said, it's not just you, it's all right. it's all. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do a work experience in, in, this, in the area that you went into then? Is that what? When you were at MT, you were doing a work experience in the... I, at when Philly? I was at Maslow, I did, um, I worked for the Youth Opportunity Program in uh, Central Isle Psychiatric Center. Okay, so it was related? Yes, okay. yes. In fact, I remember, I'll never forget it, I probably still saved it, one of my little journal things that we used to do. That wasn't brought up in the journals. <laughs> no, right. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> but, um, uh, one of the questions uh, right before graduation that we were supposed to write in our journals and then share if we, if we chose to um, was <laughs> what did you want to do either as a career or, or what was a goal for, for your life? And um, I'll never forget, I wrote how I wanted to somehow um, be involved in education so that, so that there would be somebody out there who's looking at um, what children do right instead of what children do wrong. Um, and then here I am, I don't know how many years later, I don't want to count, <laughs> um, 11 years later, and I'm, I'm, I'm being told as an educator, you know, that you must approach individuals in a positive manner when you write lesson plans or when you write educational evaluations. They must be you must speak about the individual in a positive manner. You must teach to the positive and not the negative. It's like, phew, finally. <laughs> but again, it's in special education. Why isn't that in regular education? I don't understand. That's one of the major problems with this whole new compact for learning that the state now is imposing on, well, not imposing, they're saying every district has to comply by February 1st. The, the flaw in that whole concept is they still are approaching it from the perspective that the student is deficient, the student has to be fixed, the right. student is broken, the right. student is right. 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 Instead of saying, hey, what is the positive? There's nothing wrong with kids. Kids are great. Mm -hmm. All kids have always been great. Mm -hmm. Now, let's start from there. Mm -hmm. Kids are great. Now, what are we going to do with that? Not mm -hmm. kids are ignorant. Kids don't know. We have to change this. We right. have to change that. They're doing this bad. They're doing that right. They have to be taught that. No, it's the wrong It's wrong the difference between Freudian and Maslow. You take it, turn it on its head. The one, instead of looking for the neurotic, you look yeah. for the perfect example. You look at one individual and say, let's find this good tree. Yeah. Heck with all the pictures. Right, right. Let's, let's, 
And that's Accentuate just keep reinforcing that. that, that, that way. If it's only one lesson. good trait, <laughs> reinforce it because you're lucky you're getting that. Thing. Okay, guys. This is silly in its way, but I've always wanted to be a millionaire. <laughs> yet to accomplish that. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite content where I'm at. But you ask what I've always wanted. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't reached that plateau. <laughs> <laughs> when you get there, don't forget it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll remember most people. They're still working on the first. That's right. That's, yeah, exactly. that's, the, that's the hardest. Well, you got to shoot for the, the highest. Take the fall out. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Well, I've always not had a dream. I don't know if I can call it that, but I've always wished that that somewhere there would always be a mass at the top left um, for somebody else out there like me, you know, who was looking for another way to to survive. Uh, because I I really think if it was not for Maslow, I really don't know where I've been. I really don't. And, and it scares me that, that I don't know if there is a climate for, for Maslow anymore. I wish that there was. Yeah, I think like that too. I don't know if there's a place for it anymore. Like, you're looking back and it was just different. It might have been different in its own way, but I think it's very different from now. You know, when we were there, just thought something just hit me like a ton of bricks and say, is there? But Friends World College is somewhat ran like Maslow was. Mm -hmm. I was up there, it was in Lloyd Harbor, up there with the local truckers. Okay. Found it by accident. I was going to this place called Friends. And the environment, the paintings on the wall, the forums, I said, oh my God. I, I, I had told the guy I was going to go, you know, this is like a, get that kind of guy. I go, this is like a school I went to in high school. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Friends World College and Lloyd Harbor. Same. First year. The first year that we had, 74 to 75, we had a student teacher who was a student at the Friends World College. And uh, that's when I found out about it. Uh -huh. So it was so exactly the same yeah. as you said. Yeah. Much, much the same. Yeah. Yeah. Not even, same. Well, yeah, yeah. Even the people were the same. Thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah,